Hello, Les from Thailand here, retired and living the dream. Today's video is going to be oh, it's going to be a rant video. The pound has sunk like a lead balloon, so the cost of living in Thailand is more expensive now than it was, let's say, a year ago. But it is time for a little bit of clever thinking and ways and means where you can save a little bit of money because at the end of the day we've took a big hit over the past year for those people who want to retire to living in Thailand so it's going to cost a little bit extra now how much extra I've got some figures for you I've worked them out this morning and again this is just a for those people who are sort of living here on a budget. For those people who are wealthy enough, ah, they can weather the storm. But majority of people that I know around here are living on a, a budget. And the swing or the amount of money that you can win or lose over in this country depends on how the value of the pound is looked at. And at the minute, it is sinking and it's sinking like a lead balloon. Oh, crazy. So, okay, clever ways of thinking. For those people who want to come across here and use the 800,000 baht method for their retirement visa, no problem with that. If you can afford to, to put the 800,000, that's the easiest way of getting your retirement visa. But at a rate of less than 40 baht, as of today's rates, you would have to put in 20,005 pounds sterling money to convert it over to baht to put the 800,000 baht in the bank. Now I say this and many people are going to agree with me and disagree with me that when the pound actually gains some strength back and it goes up to let's say 46 which it was a year ago you would lose out then if it goes up to 46 and it's a paper loss I know and it's only a loss if you need to change the money back. But let's say it does get it back up to the dizzy heights of 46 baht. The difference, you would lose £2,614 in the exchange rate if you wanted to change it back to pounds. So again, I've done a couple of videos with regard to people just living on the state pension here. Now the state pension here, again, in a year, the people have took a heavy hit. Let's just say £800 a month is what you're living on for a pension. And I did the video living on 35,000 baht a month. And 35,000 baht, when it was at 46, cost you 760 pounds a month. So below the 800 pounds a month to live on, on the state pension. But now that same 35,000 baht would cost you 876 pounds. So therefore, within a year, 116 pounds to spend the same 35,000 baht. Now there's a lot of people just living on a bare bones budget here and to lose 116 pounds a month, this is not a year, a month, it can be a heavy hit for some people. So me, as I say, I, I do my programme and I say that I live on 1,200 pounds per month. Now that 1,200 pounds a month again has took a heavy hit over the past year. So at its best at 46, and now we're at its worst, at 40, I am losing £180 a month. £180 a month, that's a lot of money to lose for the same amount of baht that you're going to get for £1,200. So even now, I'm looking at my budget and I'm, and I'm tightening things up. I hope it never gets back down to 37 baht again because we, we had to watch our pennies when it got down to 37 and when it got back up to 46 it was like oh thank goodness for that i can start saving money again and then it went down to 44 43 42 and it's just come down and down and down and the clowns by saying what they did on friday with the budget rewarding the wealthy and the elite it affects not just us in thailand but everybody it's, the pound has gone down against all the currencies in the market so it's not just me that's suffering everybody else is suffering if they're living on a pension or living on foreign income because they're living not in the UK. I left the UK because it's far too expensive to live and I thought I found the perfect place in Thailand but still the long reach of the government in the UK can affect everybody's living standards no matter where they are in the world. 
So yeah, 180 pounds a month worse off than where I was this time last year, a month. And the difference in a week, a week ago it was 43 and now it's down to 40. So that is 60 pounds per month. 60 pounds a month is a lot to lose for those people that are living on a, a budget or a, a fixed pension. So for those people living on a budget, there's very little we can do except suck it up and take it on the chin and tighten our belts a little bit. I'm sorry I can't give any really more positive news on this apart from it's going to hurt hard for the next few months, I think. I don't think this situation is going to clear up very soon. But I would still sooner live here in Thailand than in the UK, even if the pound is so weak at the moment. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will go back up upwards. And the good times of living in Thailand, where you, your money went a lot further, hopefully one day will come back. So for those people who want a holiday in Thailand, the two-week millionaires, yeah, it'll buy a little bit less, but you're only going to be here for a couple of weeks and then you're going to go back home and face the music back home because I don't think it's any better back in England. So for those people, thanks very much for watching. Best wishes to everybody, and I hope this old train wreck of a government that we've got get things right in the near future. Thanks for watching. Take care.